Hi there, art lovers. Lena Vigna here from the Racine Art Museum. I'm the curator of exhibitions, and I'm here to talk with you today about the work of another one of the artists featured in our permanent collection, Jennifer Maestri. As you can see, Maestri uses um, colored pencils to make sculptural forms. Uh, born in South Africa, Maestri got um, degrees from institutions in the US focused on fine arts, economics, and glass. So this work, which is representative of a large portion of what she makes, uses sections of colored pencils to create a form of an animal or some other organic type creature. Um, it reflects an early interest in the artist playing with materials. She was sort of forced to look for something to use other than glass, just because of lack of resources um, for that media. And she wanted to respond or reference sea urchins. So initially, she looked at nails pushed through window screen, but decided that she needed to try um, and look for something else when that became a little bit too limiting and it didn't allow her the form that she wanted. So she kept experimenting and then finally turned to colored pencils, which she uses as objects, not instruments. Her process involves basically making the colored pencils into beads by cutting them and then drilling holes in them and then stitching them together using a peyote stitch, which is a sort of classic bead making or um, fiber based technique. She doesn't like to use armatures. Basically, everything stitched together into a fabric that she can then shape. It becomes flexible and it allows her to get something that's a little bit more organic and feel. Uh, Maestri notes that she's inspired by lots of things. Well, nature is a major source, so is simply the process of making, where a mistake can lead to new discoveries or new directions. She's also interested in being mindful about the resources that she uses. So if she doesn't use a piece of colored pencil to make sculpture, she might use it to make jewelry or small boxes, or she's even used the pencil shavings to make work. Ultimately, the somewhat abstracted and ambiguous forms allow um, the viewers to engage in their own way and then make their own um, decisions about what it is that they're looking at and, and to connect with their own associations. For more on other work from Ram's permanent collection, please tune into other videos. And you'll note that I'm standing in front of other very interesting work. This is from the exhibition Alien Invasion, which Maestri is a part of. It's on view for just a few more weeks. And if you want to find out more information, go to Ram's website, www.ramart.org, where you can find out more about that exhibition, other exhibitions, and more from the permanent collection.